Hi everybody, it's Lauren and welcome back to Is This Legit? Where we fact check videos that have gone viral on YouTube and give you some tools for fact checking on your own. So tons of footage has come out since the attack on the US Capitol a few weeks ago, including this video, which supposedly shows Trump supporters with disabilities being arrested at the Capitol on January 6th. Let's take a look. <laughs> Unfortunately, aside from the title, this video gives us pretty much zero information about what's happening. There's a lot to unpack here, so it's time to find out. Is this legit? So this video was posted by an account called Millennial, which has about 100,000 followers. A pretty decent following, but glancing over the other videos this channel has posted, it seems to be mainly comedy based with recordings of popular TikTok and Snapchat videos. So definitely not a great source when it comes to hard news. And like I mentioned, this video doesn't really give us any evidence, like at all. The title reads, disabled Trump supporters get arrested for storming the US Capitol. That's it. Since there's no added context down in the description box, that's a major red flag. Ideally, there'd be a link to a credible source, or at least a credit to the person who took the video. Another thing that stood out to me about this video was the fact that none of these people are wearing their masks. The fact that not even the police officers are masked up is definitely kind of weird. So we might have to consider that maybe this video is old or needs context, but one way that we can definitely check is by doing a reverse video search. So anytime you see a video that seems a little sus, you can try fact-checking it using this free verification tool from Invid and WeVerify. Basically, what it does is it allows you to do a reverse image search, but for videos. So after you download the browser extension, you can just copy and paste the video link into the keyframe search tool and voila! It'll pull still images from the video and find instances where this video appears on the internet. So this tool is super helpful for a number of reasons. It can reveal added context, which is always a great thing. But it can also be used to determine if a video is just old, which wound up being the case for this video. Using the verification tool, I found this video from C-SPAN from 2017. The video is titled, Protesters at Healthcare Hearing, No Cuts to Medicaid, Save Our Liberty. This is what the protesters are actually chanting in that original video. Take another look. So it's pretty clear that this video has absolutely nothing to do with the events that happened at the Capitol a few weeks ago. But when you're verifying information, it's always a good idea to check multiple sources. So let's turn to a keyword search to get a broader picture of what's happening here. And when I typed disabled Trump supporters capital, I was immediately met with various fact checks from some reliable sources. So really, the heavy lifting has been done for us already. Let's take a look at this PolitiFact article. Just a heads up, like media-wise, PolitiFact is operated by the Pointer Institute. And according to PolitiFact's reporting, yes, the footage is authentic. But what the video is actually showing you is a demonstration from September 2017, when the US Capitol Police arrested 181 people outside a hearing room where US Senators were discussing a bill to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Although this may have been an honest mistake, videos like this on YouTube are super dangerous. The YouTube video title accuses these protesters of storming the Capitol, partaking in a violent mob, and claims that they're supporters of President Trump, when in reality, what the video really showed was a group of people protesting the GOP's healthcare bill. This is why it's so, so important to fact check anything before you repost it. Anything. Because unfortunately, these aren't the only people who have been falsely accused of being capital rioters. So we're gonna have to rate this video as not legit. Guys, fact checking isn't hard. As you guys saw, even just doing the keyword search would have tipped you off to show that the video was being used out of context. It's literally always worth the extra time to verify information before you repost. And if you're interested in any other fact checks, be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Don't compromise, be media wise.